Hello, greetings to the PAU community in our winter quarter 2020. When we established our PAU vision statement several years ago, we infused a deep commitment to inclusion and equity. Indeed, objective number three of that statement asks us to maintain and enhance PAU's commitment to honoring culture and promoting diversity at the core of all academic and institutional initiatives infused and incorporated into all objectives in the strategic vision. We take that commitment seriously. And I wanted to take an opportunity today to talk with you a little bit about it. I want you all to know, first of all, that I'm so glad that each one of you is here. Each member of our community is integral and essential. Each one of you belongs here and is valuable to our institution. I want to clearly express our institutional commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. We've made great strides in our institution towards social justice and cultural consciousness. I think we do training in cultural competency as well as anybody in the country. We believe strongly in the didactic training, research and scholarship, clinical and professional work, and programming that serve to deepen our cultural awareness, knowledge, and responsiveness. We also remain a work in progress. True diversity is messy. It creates discomfort, sometimes pain, strong emotions, and it is critical. Meaningful engagement with diversity and social justice offers us opportunities to be exposed to a multitude of voices and perspectives as our understanding of our shared humanity is enriched by our awareness of sociocultural differences and disparities. We need to be able to dialogue about our experiential knowledge and the realities of others. We need to be able to examine our multicultural selves and our positioning in society we need to be able to understand the pervasive impact that power and privilege and oppression have on our community, on our relationships with one another, on our clinical work and our research, and in the relationships and mental health of our clients and our research participants. We must deepen our stamina to accept difficult feedback and to sit with discomfort. We must look inward to criti critically examine our own institutional structures. I'm so proud of the work that's going on at PAU. Together, the Faculty Director of Institutional Equity and Inclusion, Dr. Tacita Tomala, and the new University-wide Inclusion and Equity Committee, consisting of students, staff, and faculty, and co-chaired by Drs. Tomala and Nezal, are actively engaged with these issues. Together, they're developing a multi-year strategic plan focused on diversity, equity, inclusion, which will include professional development and training for faculty and staff, the creation of a restorative process for addressing identity-based experiences, and the alignment of our curricula and classrooms with our inclusive goals. We're trying to be better tomorrow than we are today. These structures and committees and Dr. Tamala's leadership and many, many others of you in the, in the community who are taking leadership roles are making us better tomorrow than we are today. The work towards social justice and cultural consciousness is often the continual striving to do better rather than a simple arrival at a particular point. And we have some distance to travel together. We all do, as does any institution. This is the shared work of each one of us. I call on each of us to lean into this process, to work together to build a campus that is inclusive and equitable. I'm grateful to all of you who are working toward helping PAU live its commitment every day. I wish you all an active and productive winter quarter. 
I look forward to seeing you at one of the many events coming up on the campus over the next few weeks or on Zoom. And especially welcome uh, to see those alumni at our first ever Silicon Valley alumni meetup on February 27th at NOLA in Palo Alto. Have a wonderful winter quarter. I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you so much for all you do for PAU.